Good boy. Hi, my good boy. <laughs> you making biscuits? Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida, with our beautiful Jinxie. Jinx, the black leopard. You doing your dangle? You doing your leopard dangle? Can only dangle one arm. Yeah, you can only dangle one arm. That was a good spot for you to hang out, though. Yeah, I don't want you to leave. Hi. I don't have anything, though. Please don't jump that way. There we go. That's better. That's better. Good boy. If you guys can take a second and please share this live feed or tag your friends and family. Let everybody know that we're live currently with Jinx Leopard at Big Cat Rescue. You guys know we had a pretty monumental week last week with the Big Cat Public Safety Act having passed the house and the senate and now we are just patiently not patiently waiting for it to be signed into law so that is incredible and then the very next day we released our last two rehab bobcats back into the wild right mr sir so i'm going to give you guys a few minutes to keep sharing this and alerting each other that we're live have not, don't see a whole lot of people watching yet. But good morning, Jane. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sophia. Good morning, Shannon. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Cheryl. Good morning, Deborah. Hi, Kathy. Morning, Noor. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for sharing into the groups. Hey, Diane. Good morning, Bella. I promise I will be emailing you back today. Hi, Leah. Oh, what was that? Hey, Carrie Ann. Good morning. Look at those leopard spots. I know I had mentioned last week that um, Jinx was getting a little weird about eating his food. He seems pretty much back to normal, so that is good news for us. Hi, Missy. Good morning. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. those beautiful spots. You guys know that Jinx is our oldest cat here at Big Cat Rescue. Estimated to be about 23 years old. Hi, Carrie Ann. He's so handsome. Look at that tail. I know. Deep breaths. So Jinx seems to be doing pretty good. He's slowing down a little bit on wanting to eat the mush um, which is the basically like his vegetables <laughs> good morning Bree so on the side of things with Jinx we seem to be doing pretty good he's still on some mobility supplements he gets Cosequin He's also still on his gabapentin for any kind of pain management for his arthritis. He unfortunately had been fully declawed before ever arriving here. 
and that is torture on a cat's body, especially the older they get. I know, you keep wanting to scratch that platform so bad. Hey, good morning, Deb. It's a cooler morning here. We've been for the last week or so back high up into the 80s and super hot. Um, today it's actually got a little chill in the air, but we're still in the 60s, so it's kind of a perfect morning, but it's also very gloomy, very foggy, very gloomy. Look at all those white furs. You get those white furs all over your spots. Oh, he's like, <laughs> not sure where he wants to go. All right, well, thank you guys again for sharing this, taking the time to tag people you know would want to know that we're live. Sharing is the most free and easiest thing that you guys could ever do for us here at Big Cat Rescue. Share our photos, share our videos, share our live feeds. So speaking of, Deb let me know that we're making a couple changes. So you guys know that I have been pushing <clears throat> our secondary YouTube channel for years. Um, that was always the channel where all of my lives go. And we are switching it up on you guys. So instead of going to dailybigcat.com to rewatch these lives. You can still do that for all of the ones prior to today. <laughs> um, but going forward, these lives will be rerun over on our main YouTube page. So bigcattv.com. Deb's going to make a Q&A with Brittany playlist. I'm sure we will also do the same thing when it comes to um, like vet procedures and just various playlists for our lives. <sighs> he went and laid back there. Let's go see. Looks, looks pretty, pretty handsome back there. This lockout right here has his favorite water bowl. They're all the same. We fill them new every single day, but he prefers this one particular one. Is that just how far you made it and then you needed a break? Cool. Thank you, Deb. So, yep, if you guys come in late or you miss any lives and you want to rewatch, you can start rewatching them over at BigCatTV.com. One less <laughs> URL in my brain to push to people. So, again, you can still go to Daily Big Cat, but moving forward, all the lives. So, Catterday Lives, Singing Sundays, all of that will get playlists over at BigCatTV. Dot com. Please make sure you guys have subscribed over there. That's the really big channel that has millions of subscribers, whereas Daily Big Cat, slowly but surely over the years, we got to around 40,000 subscribers. So, we're going. I mean, I don't want to encourage you to chew on any of that. You want to finish all your crumbs of your mush this morning or just more water? Like, just more water. <laughs> all right, well, so unfortunately, I do have a little bit of unfortunate news. Um, it's a little early to get too freaked out, but of course, we're pretty on edge about it. Um, this morning, Mr. Manny did not want to eat breakfast. So he stashed his food in his den and he is not coming out of his den. So we have immediately notified Dr. Justin and we are going to monitor him for the rest of the day, hoping that it's a fluke. But we do all know that Mr. Manny recently had a large portion of his intestine removed due to cancer. He has had two blockages in the last few months. And so, all the good vibes, please send them over. <laughs> right, kiddo? I see the chicken right behind you. It's right at your butt. So, I thought you guys would want to see him. Hi. You gonna blow kisses? 
And he's like, I don't see your face, I just see a camera. <laughs> so yes, all the good vibes, all the well wishes. Please send them for Mr. Manny. Today is the first day he has acted unusual since his surgery a few weeks ago. So there has been um, nothing discussed as far as the next step other than we will just be watching him closely today. Afton is here instead of Aaron, um, which is usually not the case on Sunday, so I know Afton will be out here <laughs> walking his enclosure. We've walked the enclosure and didn't see anything unusual, so just hoping it's a fluke, but we also understand buddy <laughs> we also understand the seriousness of what he's been going through i know that was that was a very manny thing to do wasn't it yeah all right we're gonna go i don't trust me i'm not taking that chicken from you i want you to eat it you gotta eat that chicken you gotta eat that chicken yeah, you got eat it. We wanted kisses, we didn't want attacked. So even before he was offered food this morning, Jen R is actually the keeper that was out here with him. And she said he was doing all the normal things like hanging out by the door, ready to like eat the food. And then once it was in front of him, he was like, nope. He is sniffing the food though. Yep, you can't ever, ever, ever let your guard down around these cats. That is why there's a stabilizer. All right, buddy. I don't see you tucked yourself in a scary corner. So that's my update on him. So of course, this good boy doing better but our Mr. Manny having some issues oh yeah that's typical of Manny that's why Manny is shifted around for cleaning because he loves to attack like the scraper poles that's why we don't use sticks with him that's why we've got all the rules in place I'm not gonna follow you again. I can't, I can't get over there again. All right, well, last week I did not do very many walkabouts because we <laughs> were crazy busy, all kinds of craziness happening. So this week I'm gonna try to make that up. But, there's no way I couldn't let you guys know what we're looking at for Mr. Manny right now. So let's see who is around. Ooh, I see a Kimba on a platform. He's another one we can talk about for a little bit. We had been discussing his neuter happening uh, sooner than later, like as early as this week, but I don't know if they have chosen a date that will work. But we are really, really hoping not a lot of people online, especially because we weren't doing lives back then, but Jamie has used the example that anyone who knew Cameron Lyon when he still had his mane and then knew him after he was neutered and he was basically like a kitten playing with toys. <laughs> Hi buddy. Hi kiddo. So that is our hope for Mr. Kimba. So neutering him not only would be beneficial to his quality of life and his health as he gets older, but we're hoping it will help his temperament. Hi, cute boy.
So we'll keep you guys up to date on that, but it sounds like we could be having a pretty busy medical week. So you guys know that our Giving Tuesday goal this year was all about medical costs. And so you guys helped us greatly <laughs> get ready for a new year, but these are going to be some pretty big, expensive items up for <laughs> happening pretty, pretty soon, I think. So I'll let you guys know. The goal is to do Kimba first, and then eventually we're also going to be doing that for Simba, hoping that that will alleviate some of his anxiety as well. Yeah, definitely let that Manny <laughs> situation be a lesson to you. It doesn't matter if it's a bobcat, it doesn't matter if it's a jaguar, it doesn't matter if it's a tiger. They should never be handled by the public. Absolutely should never be put in those situations. You know, Manny has food stashed in his den, so of course he's gonna be like, um, no, I've had enough of you. And that's what he did. Uh, Cindy, we're still waiting on the official, official number for Giving Tuesday. The reason for that is because so many people donated in different ways. It either came through on the Facebook Lives, it came through the main webpage, people sent checks, uh, people donated not directly on the right website, but on the like feed the cat page um so we're pulling the numbers from different areas and kind of still watching them trickle in a little bit but for the most part we feel really confident saying that yes uh with the match that we had this year we absolutely hit our goal for giving tuesday so thank you thank you thank you so very much you never know what kind of medical expenses you're gonna have looking forward but we currently have so many cats that are kind of across the board. We have a lot of like middle-aged, like teenagers. We have several that are super, super old, like Miss Kelly and Mr. Jinx. We've got um, a couple that are just, you know, a year or two, or quite a few that are like under five, which was not the case when I started seven years ago. They were, we had like tons of cats in their 20s. So we have to, uh, Remember though that these captive cats, a lot of them were born and raised in captivity. They were not raised by their mothers, so metabolic um, bone disease is an issue. Got a lot of dental issues. Any of the cats that were declawed tend to have issues with arthritis. We've got our Guatemala boys who you know were very much abused and neglected and horrible nutrition when they needed it the most. It's gonna go into lockout and get a drink of water. Looks like Miss Jasmine finally took out her enrichment <laughs> that we gave on Giving Tuesday. Look at what a good boy he is getting water. That's his feeding lock out there so he knows he can go in there every single morning, eat his breakfast, and get water. He's got one, two, three other lockouts and all the other sections of his enclosure, but this is his main feeding lockout. He can get water in any of them. Jasmine. Let's see what's today's date, the 11th. So I do want to also mention that we've got four days left of the 75% off sale at BigCatRescue.biz. Um, so please make sure that if you want to shop any of the on-site gift shop collection, you can fill up the cart and then at checkout, you can put in the code SHOP75, all one word, and 75% off of what was already clearance prices. 
so we are practically giving this stuff away for free and in some instances we are <laughs> but we have had so many products just sitting in the gift shop not being utilized we know most of our um, really really regulars have pretty much everything we've ever offered in the gift shop <laughs> but your friends and family don't so why not like really go over the over the top this year with uh, Christmas presents because we're practically giving it all away. So let's see if there is a Diablo in a Beecher. Mm -mm -mm. There's a Beecher. Hi, beach boy. So again, bigcatrescue.biz is our online store and right on the homepage, you're gonna find an image that says on-site gift shop. Once you've clicked on that, you are within the collection. Basically, the other hint is if it has a big red disclaimer in the description saying that it's a custom item, then the sale does not apply to that. <laughs> it is only the ones that are physically here on site that Aaron and Jenny ship out to you guys. So, hey Beach Boy, you got anything to say? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Absolutely ridiculous. This is Beecher. Beecher is a hybrid. If you guys joined in late, we've already seen Jinx. We had an update on Manny and a very interesting moment with Manny. We've seen Kimba Tiger. Now we're over here with Beecher. And I did also already mention that since the bill has passed, we are kind of Moving some things around, you guys might notice that Carol had some independent accounts like TikTok and uh, Twitter and her Instagram and without needing them for all the work she was doing with the bill, she's um, closing those down. So make sure you're watching all of the main page accounts for that because anytime she wants to say something, she'll do it there. But that also means that dailybigcat.com, we won't be utilizing that in the same way anymore. So from here on out, if you come in late or you miss anything or you just want to rewatch these, you can do that at our main YouTube page, bigcattv.com. Yeah, in just a couple of days, we're actually going to be celebrating. Um, Manny's five-year rescue anniversary and it's pretty hard to believe him and Natalia came to us from a zoo and unfortunately Natalia passed away fairly quickly after arriving um, also cancer related so the good news is most of the cats it accredited sanctuaries tend to live longer because they get you know medical care but you really can't help what happens with the type of captive breeding that takes place all the genetic disorders all the issues and I'm pretty sure we can all agree that cancer is just the absolute worst where'd you go where's your friend Where's your emotional support friend? Diablo has been doing well. You guys know that he actually had a blockage in his bladder back in August. And he has been eating really well. Oh, I don't want to startle him, but I see him now. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, tiny gentleman. Can I just say hi for just a second? Hi, cute boy. What you doing under there? This is our sweet little Diablo. 
It looks like you have a full belly and you're ready to sleep all day. It's a very gloomy day, so that is perfect. Perfect weather. Sleep all day. Sleepy Sunday. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. I won't stay too long because I wouldn't want somebody harassing me if I was trying to take a nap. Let's see. Did I close that gate? Yep, okay. Let's walk around the corner because I don't think that I have on a live checked in with Frankie. Frankie, for the first time, now that he's connected to the above ground tunnel system, walked himself to Funcation. He did not have to deal with the squeeze cage. And he went very quickly, which was awesome. And he's been pretty good about being out and about. He's not just like hiding away like a lot of <laughs> a lot of bobcats tend to do on vacation. He comes a running for food, I can tell you that. We have an awesome work group here today, which is very exciting. Didn't hear where they were from, but this is now our third one. So 100% if you know of anybody or you yourself work close, get your uh, work group together <laughs> at your office and get a hold of us. You can email info at bigcatrescue.org. If your corporate office or your small business or really anybody who's looking to do some volunteering and some charity work, we would love to see you. It was a big way that we used to show people the sanctuary, let them help out, and we'd either get new financial supporters or new volunteers. So fingers crossed because we definitely need more manpower. Hi, you boy. Cutie. Are you just chilling back here, Frankie? Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy. I know there's kind of a loud, there's a little bit of a loud um, weed eater down there, but you're doing pretty good, aren't ya? This is Frankie Bobcat. And I don't have the list off the top of my brain again, but if anybody can post the cats that were the least sponsored coming out of November and into December. I cannot believe. It was really interesting. Deb emailed me this morning and I had just been on my drive to work being like, oh man, I've got to like start getting together the celebrate list for January because we have so many cats that celebrate a birthday on January 1st because when they were abandoned or um, confiscated or given up, um, usually a lot of the time we don't get real information about those cats, where and when they were born, things like that. So we have to kind of estimate age. All right, good boy. They're doing something down there, aren't they? Some kind of project getting done. So there are a lot of cats that we will be celebrating through the month of January. I don't like doing all of the cats on January 1st because I'd rather give them each their own special day. Thank you, Deb. So Ginger, Mouser, Anala, Filmo, and Shiloh are currently our least sponsored cats heading into the last month of the year. You guys can sponsor the cats at bigcatrescue.biz as well. Right, good boy. 
So for the rest of this month, we only have two cats will be celebrating. I mentioned that in just two days, I think. Yeah, two days from now is Manny's five year rescue anniversary. But then we also have on the 20th of this month is Priya's 19th birthday. So we're gonna get their bio pages all spruced up and get everything scheduled. I don't know that we'll be doing a lot of the individual enrichment um, this year or not. I haven't heard if that's something that they discussed for the new year or not, but. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. My goodness. Yes, and Susan, thank you very much. She said you donated one of the pine trees. So last week, I didn't check this morning, but last week we had only sold 10 pine trees. We have around 40 permanent residents here, so we always give one pine tree to every single cat, along with, I think they're making some Christmas enrichment this year as well. So you can also buy a Christmas tree for a big cat at bigcatrescue.biz as well. So if you have people in your life where you're like, I have no idea what to buy them, <laughs> sponsor them a cat or buy a Christmas tree and then you'll get a download. We also have a lot of holiday downloads that you can um, do as well. So it's for a donation towards the cats and then you get a really cute downloadable image that you could print and frame or gift to somebody through email. So hopefully I'll check my analytics today on the online store and see if in fact we sold enough trees because I know we're going to start handing those out this week. Right cute boy. Right cute boy. You're so cute but all we hear is a weed eater. That's okay. That means stuff's getting done. Probably at your house. My guess is it's at your house. One of the big reasons that we rotate our cats through the Funcation enclosure, which is where Frankie is now, and the Vacation Rotation enclosure, where Duchess is, is because while they are on their vacation time, we can go into their home enclosure and give it a makeover. So right now, Priya has been living in Duchess's enclosure, and that's because the work group here today is painting Priya's cage, which is no small feat. That cage is like an acre and a half, very wooded. <laughs> so once that's done and Priya can slide back home, then that means Duchess can come home. And I believe Max Tiger would be next after that. I'm not sure who would be next after Frankie, but Frankie, for the first time ever, got to walk himself. So that door that's right behind him, there's this tunnel tunnel goes all the way down and yep that's where, exactly where it looks like all of the project noise is coming from. That is Frankie's home enclosure down there so it's getting weed eated. A lot of times we pressure wash, we check dens, we make any kind of repairs, we add new plants, all kinds of stuff. Where are you going Franksters? Now Frankie and many other of the cats, especially when they are in the vacation enclosures, they are on camera. So if this camera is live and functioning, you'll see Frankie trotting up towards the feeding lockout. <laughs> he probably thought I was gonna give him a treat, but he just had breakfast, so. Can't do that. He just had breakfast. Well, let's see if we can find one more cat, but let's try to move away from all of the background noise. Hi, cute boy. You want to walk me all the way back to my cart? That would be great. That would be great. Again, if you guys joined in late, you're going to be able to rewatch this. There will be a some kind of playlist. I'm not sure what Deb named it. The old one it was always a Q&A with Brittany but 
BigCatTV.com, right? New year, new changes. Frankie, you're so cute. That tail is so cute. Trotting along. He's got 22,000 square feet. And it's been really fun to watch him use most of it. It's been good stuff. Let's go back and see if chaos is out because we would have seen every single cat in this little corner of the sanctuary. <laughs> Except for her, but she has not always been... Okay, cool. Thanks, Deb. Um, after breakfast, it's really hit or miss if she stays out of the den or not, but like usually a couple hours after she's on a platform or on the den or somewhere where you can actually see her. Good job, buddy. You're so brave. That brave boy. I was volunteering um, last Tuesday and found her actually laying at the base of her tree, which was really cute. Sadly, Chaos is another one of those cats that had been fully declawed because somebody thought it would make them safer. And it doesn't, people. They just bite and hiss and can still very, very much injure you without claws. Oh, she's laying over there again. That'll be nice. Hi, sweet lady. Look at those pom-poms. She just really likes the base of this tree right now, which is kind of fun. But she was trying to scratch the base of the tree, like make little biscuits. Hi, honey. Can we just say hi? Because you're so pretty. Look how pretty you are. That's going to be a very pretty picture. Hi, Chaos. It's kind of like our little medical corner here, isn't it? Other than Frankie. Because this sweet lady broke a toe this past year. She's all healed up from it now, but between her and Diablo and Nanny and Jinx, <laughs> I guess Kimba about to be neutered and then Beecher's been doing fine. Beecher just eats a well-balanced meal of grass. Hi, sweetheart. You're so pretty. So if you guys missed it, one of my favorite designs that Jamie just created as I, I kept sending her messages being like I really think I want to sell blankets can we sell blankets let's sell blankets so bigcatrescue.biz we have these really cozy fleece blankets now there are seven cats in two sizes so 14 different blankets to choose from and chaos has one and it is so darn cute feel like wrapping up in those ear tufts. Wrapping up in those ear tufts. Yeah, those ear tufts. Those pom-pom ears. Look at her little fang. <laughs> Look at her little fang. Poor baby doesn't have any claws. So you see she's got some mats around her neck. Good job. Sometimes they can get those off though by doing a lot of rubbing on things like the trees and platform corners and things like that. Lots of grooming. Lots of grooming. Well, I think Chaos is going to be our last cat. So again, if you want to rewatch this from the beginning, it's always going to post on our Facebook page. And then there will be a new playlist over at BigCatTV.com where you can rewatch these lives. So anyone over at Big Cat Rescue, um, or I'm sorry, BigCatTV.com, our main YouTube page. If you don't know who I am, I've not really been on your channel much, so <laughs> this is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue, and I have been um, doing these lives since 2018. You can watch all the archives over at dailybigcat.com still, but moving forward, these reruns are going to be on our main page. Thank you so much if there's been any donations. 
and I really, really appreciate everybody who helps out in the comments and everybody who was um, sharing this. Love to see you guys keep shopping, shopping, shopping. You've got a couple more days for that 75% off sale at bigcatrescue.biz. I'm gonna zoom out because I'm just now seeing that like Frankie is <laughs> sitting on the hill directly behind her staring at me. <laughs> and again, please send those good vibes out for Mr. Manny. We're going to be watching him very closely. And as we know things, we will try to update you guys. We always do. That is one thing that good, bad, or ugly, we try to be as open as open and honest as we possibly can, no matter how much it hurts us <laughs> to talk about things or to do things, but another huge round of applause too for everybody who helped us get the Big Cat Public Safety Act passed. We cannot wait to find out when that will be signed and ready to roll. And that's just the beginning. We've still got so much work to do to protect these cats. So thank you guys for joining. Have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope to see you guys as much as possible this week. We should be handing out some Christmas trees, possibly Christmas enrichment. So keep your eye on our Facebook page. Take care, everybody. You can go see yours. All right, bye. Bye, chaos. Like, later.